Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop that's not the shop. So I am about to embark on something that could be either stupendous or just plain stupid. Also, it could get me killed if it goes wrong. Killed by my wife, that is. As you can see, I've got the old X tool out here on the top of my island. I'm going to attempt to burn an image right in the top of this countertop. If you want to watch me do this, you want to see how I do it, stick with me. Keep your fingers crossed so my wife don't kill me. And let's get started. Now the first thing I've got to do is find out where center is on this here countertop. I know it's five foot across. We're going to take a little piece of tape to tell me where center is. And we're going to put that there. Center is here. Now this uh, island, this portion of it, I'm hoping you can see that. Let me make sure you can. Yes, you can. This portion of it is hinged. It'll drop down out of the way. So my center part is these two boards here. And that's what I'm focusing on putting the image on. I want to be center this way, and I'm going to eyeball it the rest of the way. So let me get the computer up here on top of the countertop. I got some other things I want to show you here you might find interesting. Let me get behind the camera so I can show you. So we have the X tool, we've got the laptop. In the sink over there is my smoke removal machine, AKA shop vac. And I've got a compressor on the floor that we're using to put air to this laser. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is move the laser to the center of the image that we've chosen. And then I'm going to line that up with my mark. I'm going to turn on a little bit of fire here. I don't want to mark any marks on the top, but I do want to see what I'm doing. And that's about center right there. Make sure I'm not going to fall off the edge of the counter. I'm going to line it up square to the counter here. I'm going to send this thing back to its home position after I shut the laser off so it doesn't draw a line across the countertop. Send it back home. I'm going to actually line up here right on the edge. Take the tape back off. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. Now, I do have to add one more thing. Our mobile smoke encapsulator, which is the same thing we have in the other room. And we are going to plug these guys in here and we're going to rock and roll. If I can figure out which way this plug goes back in. Let's send it to center one more time just to make sure I didn't lose center. Just like that. All right. Let me readjust the camera. Stick the pipe in the back of this smoke removal, which is right here. And let's rock and roll. I don't know if this is brave or just plain crazy. Oh, 
Okay, so this is a two hour burn. I don't imagine you want to watch that laser go back and forth for two hours. Come here, Atlas. So, I'm not going to do that. I'll give you some time lapse. I'll pause the machine and stick the camera in there so you can get a look at it after it's gone a little time. But I do want to tell you that we've got some exciting videos coming up here very soon where we're going to use the old CNC out in the shop to create some things that you might not think you could make with a CNC. But old Atlas and I are going to sit here and listen to this noise. And we'll be back at you through the magic of YouTube in just a few seconds. So far, so good, y'all. We got black lines in there. Okay, so a couple things. Number one, this guy has to be everywhere I am. He's my buddy for sure. We had to add a little bottom here. The smoke was starting to come out from the bottom side of my um, portable smoke hut, whatever we're going to call that thing. And if you're going to do this, come on, Atlas, get down, buddy. If you're going to do this with a shot back, remember to take the filter out. You don't need a filter to remove smoke. The object is to go through the hose and out the window. So I actually forgot that. That's why I'm telling you. But let's keep going. This thing's coming out awesome. You gotta get out of my way. I gotta get out of here. All right, it's finished. Let's take the portable smoke removal system off and have a look-see what we got. Forgot to take the hose out of the back. <laughs> That's better. Let's move the camera over and take a look. Not too shabby. Now, you can't have a bear without a footprint. So I'm going to add to this a little bit. We're going to put a couple of paw prints on this top. I've got some spots on this counter that I don't like. There's one right here. And there's one over there that I don't care for. So we're going to put a couple of paw prints on it. Let's jump on the computer. I'll do a quick light burn tutorial to show you how you do that. How you bring these images into light burn. And I'll be back out here making more fire on the top of my counter. All right. So like I said, you can't have a bear without a bear paw. So let me show you how easy this is to bring an image into light burn. Trace it and get it ready to burn on your kitchen countertop, of all things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the old Googler. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of bear paws up here. I put in bear paw SVG free in the search bar. This is what came up. So then you'll scroll up and down. You'll find one you like. I happen to like this one right here. So we're going to click on that. And it brings the image up this way. Then we're going to right click, we're going to copy the image, we're going to minimize this, and we'll go back to light burn. Somewhere in the center, right click again, we're going to paste. That brings the image into light burn just that easy. Click on the image once more, right click again, trace the image. We can fade the image with this button down here, that'll reduce how bright the black is so we can check the lines. And I knew they'd be good right from the beginning, so we should be good to go. Click OK when you're set. You can also select this, which will delete the original image when it creates the vector. So that way we don't have to do another step. We can just, it'll go bye-bye. Click OK. And there's your bear paw. Push P to put it in the center. And then adjust the size accordingly to whatever you're looking for. Now I'm looking for roughly a 6-inch paw here. So I'm going to change this from millimeters to inches. And it's pretty much right on the money. We'll go back to millimeters, and we'll go back out in the kitchen, and we'll burn this thing into the countertop in a couple of spots. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So the bad spot in the top of the counter is right here, this knot hole that I don't like. I was going to use a bow tie and 
inlay it and close that in. But we're not going to do that in this case. We've got the bear on here now. We're going to put a paw over the top of that thing. We're going to let the laser chew into it and possibly backfill it with a, an epoxy backfill. Aside from that, the beauty of these little machines is you can pick a spot for your image in your software, locate that spot with the machine, and slide the machine wherever you want it directly over top of whatever that is that you're trying to burn. Now I'm going to do a frame here, and you'll see that I've got this set up so that will come over and go right around that entire spot. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And by doing so, I'll be able to tell that that paw is going to encapsulate that mess. Let's put the smoke cover back on and let's get to burning. All right, everybody, so what started out as a simple carve, maybe not so simple, but a bear on the top of a uh, countertop, we just got started. We couldn't stop, so we've got a few more things we've done. We're going to add some oil here to hopefully protect these guys from, I don't know what, but just protect them as if it was a cutting board here. This one needs a little bit more. We're just going to rub them in with our hands, I guess. Let it soak in. Might as well do the whole board while we're at it. This sure was a lot of fun. It was a little bit nerve wracking in the beginning. But I think the finished product is well worth it. This is a new product we're using. We're not sponsored by these guys, but boy, it's all natural and it smells great. So we'll let that soak in for a little bit and then we'll do a walk around. I'll show you a better look at these things. Let's give it a little bit to soak in. All right, there you have it. A nice carving in a kitchen countertop. I didn't get killed by my wife. Everything went smooth as silk. You learned a few things about doing this. As far as orienting the machine and working upside down is definitely a challenge. So be careful when you're doing that to make sure that you've got things in the right position. Otherwise you get a little boo-boo and you don't want to do that. At any rate, one more thing. If anybody thinks that you can't erase the slate, that's not true couple minutes with the sander and this would be back down to the bare cherry that it, that it began with so it doesn't affect the saleability of your house it's just a personal touch for us we really enjoy it we're glad you're with us with this video we had a lot of fun as always i hope you got something out of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope maybe you learned something as always subscribe if you haven't done so already give us a like a share and i'll catch you on the next one